what's up guys this is Sunny and today I got a quick video for you now here I got a budget gaming PC for three hundred sixty seven dollar and ninety four cents from Micro Center um, if you guys are not familiar with Micro Center Micro Center is a great uh, computer hardware store or any other you know like the gadget store for like uh, screens and everything basically everything that's a processor computers motherboard ramps everything guys make sure you guys check out micro center so so here we go I just wanted to show you guys a quick budget gaming PC for three hundred sixty seven dollar ninety four cents that's including tax and everything so first of all let's just go check out the motherboard as you can see I have a gigabyte H81M dash H motherboard for $47 now don't sleep on that motherboard this motherboard will hold a uh, CPU up to 4790k but we're not going with the 4790k we're going with Core i7 uh, sorry Core i3 uh, 4170 so the motherboard you are paying $47 it's a brand new motherboard and trust me it's a great motherboard this motherboard also ready for hack and touch so if you ever planning to do hack and touch great motherboard um, let me just show you as you can see it comes with the PCI Express 3.0 16 uh, slot 1 here and also you could uh, install RAM up to install RAM up to uh, 16 gig so Uh, I don't know if I could show you the important stuff. So yeah, like I said, it's a great motherboard. You guys could check online. You guys could see review on YouTube and stuff. So let's check the CPU real quick. Okay. Now the CPU we're going with Intel Core i3 4170, 3.7 GHz. I said dual core with hyper threading. So. Let me just show you guys the spec. So it's gonna say it's a four processing thread. So it's a dual core with uh, uh, one core par uh, par core. So that's uh, hyper threading. You know, on a heavy use or a heavy load, it will work as a quad core. So four. Now, when they mean it's a four processing thread, now don't get me wrong. It's not really a four core like a core i5 quad core it's basically core it's a half core it's not really a full core so it's, it's, you know, I have to make a video on that so it's a whole different thing now you could use this for hack and touch too but you will need a graphic card and there is some method on uh, 20max x86 for the 4400 uh, graphic you know hack and touch some tweak and stuff but I also just, just go with the uh, graphic card and you'll be fine so that's the processor we'll be used and the RAM the RAM will use a Kingston HyperX uh, series uh, 4 gig of RAM so the 4 gig of RAM you can start playing any game but you might have a uh, little bugs and stuff but you could start the system uh, with the 8, 4 gig and then you could always upgrade to uh, 8 gig it's, it's only $29 it's a great RAM and I had the same RAM and I was overclocked 2133 and I had no problem. So it's a beautiful RAM for $29. Now we come to the case right now. So let's just go check out the case real quick. So Diablo Tech um, Diamond uh, ATX Mid Tower computer case. It comes with a 400 watt power supply. Now mind you, with 400 watt power supply, you could run. A GTX 960 with no problem. So, so you're getting a case with two USB 2.0, and you get the. All right. It's the side, and as you can see, there's a power supply, 400 watt, and it's pretty good, guys. Like I have this power supply and this case and I had my GTX 960 in there and I didn't have any problem running my GTX 960 so this is definitely a great deal uh, it's the top and uh, it should be it right here so for $29 you're getting a power supply and a case now don't sleep on the power supply I used the power supply for almost one year and I 
didn't have any problem and my brother is using right now so it's definitely a great deal and let's go down to uh, hard drive right so for gaming I would suggest a SSD but what we trying to do we trying to build a like a budget PC and then we could upgrade later remember the motherboard we have we could go up to Xeon processor as long as the socket is 1150 or 4790 we can go with K because it's the it's not a, a Z81 or Z87, so we could only go up to like a 4790 non-K. So the Toshiba one terabyte 72 RPM SATA 6 uh, gigabyte gigahertz or uh, whatever. Uh, it's a great drive, uh, hard drive to start with, and then you can upgrade to a SSD. And yep. So the last thing we have. The graphic card. Now, guys, this is a great graphic card. I don't know why the picture is not coming. So, now I know a lot of people will be like, oh, 650 can play this, that's no. I played game like Battlefield 4 in like a high setting or a medium setting uh, multiplayer with this graphic card. This is great graphic card for, for the price. 109 can't go wrong with. This is definitely good this is definitely a good graphic card like if you guys could get a deal from um, eBay and get a 660 sometimes you could get a 660 for like a 90 buck but this one you could pick up from Microsoft and pay maybe another like ten dollar or twenty dollar and pay a warranty so you are covered you know or you could always go and change it or whatever so this graphic card comes with a quote unquote 768 it's good enough quote unquote and you could connect up to a 4 monitor and GDDR5 and the memory clock speed is 54 mega. Trust me, it's good. The memory bus speed is 128 bit. Yeah, but it's good. Trust me. And I believe all you need a, a six pin, one six pin, and that should do with the justice. And if you pick up the refurbished one for Micro Center and you don't want to pay extra money for YNT, you got 90 days. I believe you pay another $20 something and you get a uh, Two year something I believe so yeah guys that's my budget build and uh, trust me it's a great 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 machine like you could play any game maybe not in like the alter setting but some game with the dual core CPU you could go up to uh, high setting and you could play a game like Battlefield uh, Crisis 3 Metro last slide uh, even uh, Batman uh, game like that you know call of duty so trust me guys this is definitely a good deal and you guys should definitely look into it and micro center is a great place to buy your stuff so let me know what you guys think leave the comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe and like I said this machine is a great machine even for hack and touch plus gaming so can't go wrong peace guys